We're going to eat pizza. That's how the song went, didn't it? Anyway, we are going to be eating pizza and we're going to be making pizza. I have never made a pizza base from scratch before, so there's a first time for everything, especially on this show. Right, so here we have our pizza base mix and it goes into a mixing bowl, just like this. Lots of it. Good job, the bowl's big enough, isn't it? And to that we add 25 ml of olive oil, which I have already measured out. That just is poured on top of the mix. And then on top of that, we gradually add 320 ml of warm water that I've already measured out and we start mixing it. So I've got my trusty mix here. So here we go. So we slowly add the water and we are bringing all these ingredients together now. So the oil, the water and the dough mix. So there we go. It does say slowly. Oh, I can smell it. It's, it smells really savoury already. Let's just do a little bit of mixing here because I don't want to sort of have too much of a wet patch. Ooh, or a soggy bottom. It looks as though um, that there's not going to be enough water here, but I guess there will be. There we go. It just needs to be brought together a bit more. Right, I think I'm going to move to my fingers now because uh, I need to get all the bits and pieces that are left in the bottom of the bowl all together. But it is actually, oh, it's actually, it feels like Play-Doh. <laughs> it doesn't smell like it though. And of course you wouldn't be eating Play-Doh. So there's still a few crumbly bits in the bottom. Ooh. Right, so now what we do is we lightly flour a board. I never really know what lightly means, um, um, but well, I suppose it doesn't mean having a huge glob of flour. And we've got our dough mix here. I've got most of the bits in, uh, so we put it on here. And now what we need to do is knead it for 10 to 15 minutes and I've only been at this a few seconds and I'm out of breath already. So while I do this, we'll do some magic with the screen like this or something and it'll be 15 minutes later. <sighs> so hard work. Right, so I've been kneading this for about 10 minutes and it feels elastic to me now and smooth. So what we need to do is to place this dough into a bowl just like that. And I've got some cling film here, which I've already uh, pulled down. And let's cut it. Thank you, Paul, for holding it. Cling film is always very difficult to work with. And we cover this. Sick. There we go. Just about does it. It's a little hole in there. There we go. So we cover this and we put it into the fridge for one hour. And by the time we take it out, it should be double in size. So it should be sort of touching the top of this cling film. Come back in a moment. Wow, look at this. So it's an hour later. And I suppose this is what you call proving. Well, it's the proof of the pizza is in the eating, isn't it? So we'll take the cling film off. And here we have our lovely dough. Now I've got some flour on the uh, board and what we're going to do is we're just going to take half of the of the dough because we're going to make two pizzas out of it. So here we are, let's just break it in half. Perfect, and we'll put that other bit to one side. Okay, so now we want to get rolling. So we'll get it covered in flour so as it's not going to be sticky when we roll it out and get it into sort of a round shape. And we want it sort of like 12 inches across. So there we go. Get some flour maybe onto, where's my flour gone? 
onto my rolling pin as well. Right, let's get rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, so we are ready to put the toppings on. I've got my bread knife to um, smear everything over. Oh, smear, what a lovely word. I don't know how much of this to use, so I'm going to put it all over in bits like that and then spread it. Our oven has been preheating and you want to set it at 220 Celsius, 200 fan, gas mark 7. And the pizza should take around 15 minutes to cook, but just do keep an eye on it. So here we go, I'll just open this. Stick it in and press start again. And there it goes. And as this is Paul's pizza, he will be tucking into it in a few minutes. Oh, and here it is. Now, before Paul tucks in, I'm going to stick mine in because I'm getting hungry too. Oh, very well done, my dear. So, Paul, you have now taken my place in the kitchen and you're going to tuck in. Okay, so I think I have cut it into some nice bite-sized pieces. This one looks marvelous. Oh, wow. What do you think? The Pizza dough is kind of chewy, which is what you want. You don't want it to be overly crispy on the underside. Um, I think that we did have a lot of nice flavors, like the like the salami type ham, and then the basil tastes really good as well. I don't think that it's overly cheesy, and I think that it is the right amount of tomato so I think overall it is quite delicious and it's definitely more delicious with a nice glass of white wine yum perfect 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 mmm are you sure you don't want some thank you for watching our show today if you like what you see then please like comment and subscribe keep watching